tail line. Come we already have oh we're already live. We're what, live. Why is it twelve? I guess I pushed the button. <laughs> <laughs> You're on. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> well, this would be quite a show. We didn't realize it was noon and um, in the informal way that we do this, I was gonna put on a really pretty outfit, but so what? I'm on a really pretty quilt here in my bedroom. And I had to close the drapes behind me because it screws with the light. It's a lighting thing, which is too bad because all the big horn sheep were just out there. But I think I just saw them going up the hill and it's such a beautiful thing. So today we're going to put a purifying mineral mask on Al. Yeah. And um, right now we caught him a little <laughs> early and Al is in his underpants, but you've seen him in his camouflage underpants before so what's the big deal he looks fabulous I think but he'll probably put on shorts I'm gonna do a mask on Al so that's always fun I'll be there in a minute he'll be there in a minute, he says <laughs> and uh, oh you put your shirt on too that's too bad yeah <laughs> so anyway hi Caroline hi there how are you good we're on Yeah, I pushed the button by accident. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here we are. I, I was on my way into my uh, dressing room to change my outfit, but I guess this is the outfit I'm going to be in today. And um, these What's are the shorts I had on the, the other day that everyone said they could, thought they could see my hooch. So I'm keeping uh, tangerine satin in front of my hooch. <laughs> I'm cool and all that, but not that cool. Anyway, today's a really fun day because you can go to the website and um, you, if you are intrigued by the purifying mineral mask that I'm going to put on Al after you see what it does to his skin, which is beautiful to begin with, I have to say, um, then you can go to the website and pick anything you want for free. How about that? So the mineral mask is the purchase. And turn your volume on, Alan. Actually, uh, hold on. That, uh, that's not what it is, Caroline? Oh, you know, I, did you all know that I'm dyslexic? You bought, oh, I'm so wrong. She's right, I'm wrong. And in my dyslexia, things get mixed up. Forget everything I just said. Um, buy something from the website and you get the purified mineral mask for free. It's sort of the same thing. And it's a, it's a 4499 value. It's a 4495 value. There's a lot of like cool stuff that happens with the purifying mineral mask. And um, I have to go over and get it because I'm caught a little short here. On the bed, Alan, is the uh, ingredients list. Okay. And over on my little silver tray, okay. next to my side of the bed, oh. we have our sides, okay. is my purifying mineral mask, and we might as well use mine, right? I like to put it on at night when I uh, get into bed. I'm going to watch a Netflix something. I watched Tiger King. Did you watch Tiger King? And um, I'm looking uh, for your and mic. I leave the mask on, you know, for 20 minutes is... is if you can leave a mask on for 20 minutes, it does what it does. But longer is not uh, a problem. It's, is it better? Probably. Just holds your, you know, a mask holds your face in, uh, in, in a fixed position because it tightens. And we all want to get um, uh, that smooth look. So, okay. have a balance arm in front of your <laughs> screen there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We, uh, we just lost track of time this morning. 
this whole thing with everything, the, the quarantine, I don't know about you, but I tend to stay in bed later and later every day, and then Alan just went down to the kitchen and made me Whoops. one of my favorite breakfasts uh, that he makes, which is a little um, organic, non-GMO corn, the small ones, like corn tortillas like this, and he fries each one in butter, and then he uh, perfectly fries an egg and puts that on top, and then sprinkles Cholula sauce, which is that kind of Mexican hot sauce, and then he puts the other little corn tortilla on top and smashes it down. Mm. It's one of those things that you crave, and I find on for breakfast when he says, what do you want? Because he, he generally makes um, breakfast. I make dinner, and if we have lunch, I make lunch. And, um, you want to sit there, Al? Well, almost. Give me the microphone. Well, I know. That's what I'm trying to do right okay. now. All right. All right. Okay. Hey, these are, this is behind the scenes. Really behind the scenes. Put your volume on, Alan. I can't hear her. Yeah, but your volume is not on here. Okay. That would help. Hang on. Say something, Caroline. Okay, Caroline's volume is on. Hello, hello. Well, there you are. And okay. you're not cutting out. Ah. Finally. Okay, good. Finally. Good. Uh, Finally. And, and everyone thinks you look very pretty today. Okay, great. Well, this is one of my favorite spots in the house. Um, the couch we brought over from the south of France. It had been in a uh, chateau. And I had the most dangerous thing for about 20 years because we were going to the south of France every summer for 20 years. And uh, that's how I furnished this house. That's why this house is so, uh, I think, beautifully authentic. But uh, every, when you're in the south of France and you go into an antique shop or a private sale, you want everything. It's all so incredible. So I had a shipping number. Don't do it. Don't do it, because when you have a shipping number, you say to the person, here's my shipping number, which is what an antique dealer would do. And they go, okay, it'll be in your, at, at, at home in your house, wherever you live, in a week. And we'd come home from our vacation of two weeks, and a bunch of furniture would be there. So this was one of them, and it was all tattered, but I covered in, in chartreuse velvet, because I love chartreuse with black and white zebra rug. And um, it's an incredible place to take a nap. Outside the window here is the waterfall. That's why the bighorn sheep come down every day. They want all that free water. And um, so I kind of hang out here. And then over there is where I get to sleep with my guy every night, which I know I've been with him for 50 years, but every night I get into bed and I thank God for the incredible gift of me being able to sleep with you, Alan. I know. I can't you're get it. So, you're so good to sleep with. I can't. <laughs> Where were you? Doesn't make noises. Where were you in high school? <laughs> I wasn't doing that. Except <laughs> once. Except once. And that Thank was, God, or yeah. I wouldn't have a husband. That's right. That's right. Yeah, the, the, um, the uh, beauty of that one time was Bruce. I told you the other day, Daisy, my granddaughter, said to me, wait a minute, are you saying that you lost your virginity and got pregnant in the same night. <laughs> I said, yep, Bruce really wanted to be here. <laughs> so I know you all miss Bruce. He hasn't been around, but that's because of the uh, quarantine. I haven't seen Bruce or Caroline or Violet or Camelia or Leslie or Daisy or Stephen and Zion and uh, Ari and Becca. I haven't seen any of my family or my sister or brother in... What? We've all been quarantined for over two months. I miss you so much, Caroline. I know. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. And Bruce is right here eating a salad. That'll surprise you. Oh. Oh. Surprise. Yeah. Bruce is eating a salad. Hi. <laughs> He's eating a salad. <laughs> That's so funny. When I was pregnant, so nice. when I was pregnant with Bruce, I craved celery. I craved celery. I remember one night at 12.30 at night, I, I went out to the grocery store to buy celery. I had to have it. And I even put vinegar on it, which I don't even like. And I don't eat celery now. I only ate celery when I was pregnant with Bruce, and the only time I ever used red wine vinegar, except when you're making chicken salad, a little 
a little drop of red wine vinegar, like hold it all together. But I haven't wanted it since Bruce was in my belly. So he eats salad, if, if you've seen any of their videos, he eats salad twice a day, Bruce? You eat salad twice a day? He has at least one huge salad a day, and then he usually has a side salad with dinner. Well, there you go. Well, yes. we've, we've been eating a lot of salads, um, really great ones, because the in our garden right now, it's just vomiting. That's not a good word. No. Bursting. Bursting with, um, um, oh gosh, kale, which Alan doesn't like, but when I make kale chips, he likes them. And uh, romaine lettuce, uh, which when you cut romaine lettuce right from the garden, it's real crispy. It's almost as crispy as iceberg lettuce and butter lettuce and and then the tomatoes are just every day. We could go down and pick 20, 30, some days more tomatoes. It's just an incredible thing. So Letitia Burke wants to know the benefits that you get from tequila. Oh, well, I'll tell you something. Um, I don't know about you. Well, first of all, the biggest benefit is the little to no sugar in it. Since I started drinking tequila, it started about five years ago, but pretty much our cocktails have been most nights for the last three years. I um, haven't put on any weight. So that's the biggest benefit of all. I find in this quarantine, which I find stressful, um, because of all the, I'm, I've started I don't not watching news anymore because the news is too traumatic. We're listening to a lot more music, and then Alan and I meet at our bar, as you know, which you're invited on most Monday and Wednesdays um, at five o'clock. And I turn on the music, and I clean up and look pretty, and so does he. And we uh, each have our tequila. I find uh, for a while, maybe. Up until recently, I was having one, sometimes two. Now I'm, I almost can't finish one. So uh, maybe I've built up a tolerance to that. I don't know. But what it does is it gives us focus from five to six, which is when we sit there before dinner. And we talk and we make decisions and we make each other laugh. And um, I'm just about at the point where I can start dancing again with my leg is almost finished here. I keep rubbing on my knee here because the knee is still a little, a little tender. And um, I don't know, so it makes me a little happier if that's possible. I'm a happy person. I'm not gaining weight. And uh, I find, as a former white wine drinker, uh, and I wrote about this in a lot of my books about uh, women who drink white wine, because it's the acceptable drink, isn't it? If you go out for lunch with your girlfriends and you drink wine, remember when we used to go out for lunch and you drink wine, uh, nobody looks at a table full of women drinking wine as having uh, alcohol issues. But if a table full of women were drinking tequila and whiskey and vodka and martinis, you'd go, well, pretty heavy for afternoon. So I find that um, it's a, drinking my five o'clock cocktail is, Relaxing makes me feel even happier, uh, not gaining weight, and it's a lovely way to spend an hour. With not a lot of sugar. And because that, yeah, there's little to no sugar. I can't say no sugar, uh, but the kind that we drink is very, very low in sugar. And there are also um, organic um, tequilas out there if you're if you're interested. I I think about agave which is a cactus. We've got some growing here on the property. It's a desert plant. Nobody's really spraying agave cactus with uh, pesticides and poison. So the fact that um, tequila is organic or not organic doesn't really mean a lot to me in that, in that big picture. So that's, uh, I hope I answered your question. Well, you answered mine. What was yours? I don't remember. <laughs> Maybe you need some tequila. <laughs> but that means we're going to have our, our uh, tequila tonight alone without all our friends here. Friday night, Friday night we're having our cocktail party. And you're all invited. Five o'clock. Five o'clock, yeah, five o'clock. You're all invited. 
We've got a lot of New York friends um, watching on Friday nights. It's fun. And they ask questions. And then after the show, I often call a lot of them up and you know talk about what we talked about. So um, there's a lot of people doing uh, virtual cocktails now. We were all the first, if you recall, we were the first ones. I remember when I um, said it uh, in January in an interview that I started getting requests to be on news shows because people were looking for angles for the, uh, uh, the quarantine. And I remember there's a business um, host who's so sweet. Whenever I've been on his show, he's so sweet. He's an English guy with a twinkle in his eye. An English guy who became an American citizen, Stuart Barney. And he just loved the idea that we we're having virtual cocktail parties. So, um, so it's all You've good. always been the trendsetter, Suzanne. Thank you, darling. Oh, I do want to Always ask, ahead of the game. Thank you. I want Caroline to post something today. One of the people that I interviewed in my book, do I have one here? I should have one here. Uh, and also the purifying mask is over there, Al. Where? Um, on the little silver tray. They remember. Okay. You don't. See, he's full. Um, one of the doctors I interviewed in A New Way to Age, which um, I love that book. I just, I love it. Uh, there is a new way to age, and it's not the old way. It's not, it's not the aging of your parents or your grandparents. It's my way, and the, the doctors I interviewed's new way. Uh, it's not anti-pharmaceutical, but only using pharmaceuticals when they're absolutely necessary. And, um, it's from it's from the old line, Alan. Did you find it? Yeah. Oh, okay. And um, yeah, great. See, Saki Mahoney's daughter. Um, <laughs> my father was a baseball player. Uh, I lost my train of thought. What was I talking about, Caroline? What was I talking about? Oh, the new way to age. So the doctor, uh, Doctor Terry Hertog, who I have interviewed several times. Um, uh, he wrote a review. He's in the book, but he wrote the review about me as a um, someone who's had a tremendous impact on the effects of bioidentical hormones and introducing all of you and a lot of women and men around the world to bioidentical hormones. Now, what's significant about that is um, I'm usually the one touting and the praises of the different doctors' um, work. Dr. Hertog is the leading endocrinologist, certainly in Europe, but probably in the world. Tell Bruce to be quiet with his plate. <laughs> and um, he wrote this beautiful, beautiful tribute to me. So I've asked uh, Caroline to publish it on face Facebook. Are you going to do that on Facebook, on Facebook page? Yes, I am. Okay, yeah, I want you to read it. I don't usually toot my own horn, but it's rare that as a non-doctor that a doctor would give me such kudos. And it came as such a surprise. It was unsolicited. I opened up Facebook today and I saw that and I went, wow. And it was because uh, we both were featured in this month's uh, Townsend Letter. And this is an incredible magazine. And um, also... Uh, Life Extension. These are two magazines that I read cover to cover every single month. Y you could you could get your PhD down the road. I'm, I'm being facetious, but the information is that valuable, and they teach so much. So I'm always proud when I'm put on these covers because it it's an endorsement of me and my work. Where normally they put doctors on the covers, but why would you want a doctor when you got somebody that looks this cute, huh? I know. Uh, can you hand me these books right here, Al? Which books? This pile of books that runs on. Yeah. I'm just looking at these books, things that you may not know about your friend Suzanne. Here's my book, A New Way to Age. Uh, read, if you're already in Scots, in this kind of uh, approach to health, and you think you know everything in here, you actually don't. And especially at the back of the book, that's where I really go deep into senolytics. I've been talking about the senolytic activator, which... Uh, helps to clean out cellular debris. So why do you care? Because as we age, our cells get filled with junk, just like the pipes in our house. And senolytic activator, which you only take once a week, once a week, and it's really inexpensive, 
um, and we sell it on our website, but that's not why I'm talking about it. I wrote about it before we, we private label to have a Samuel Lake activator uh, made for our line. Um, I love the idea, I, I love clean pipes, and I want my cells to be clean, but here's, you know, keeping your cells clean is uh, like reverse aging. The reason we age is that our cells get filled up with junk and then they malfunction and then they die and the paradigm of good health is having more functioning cells than malfunctioning cells. So if you got an, um, something called senolytic activator, you know, maybe, maybe this could be, give you a heads up. I don't know if you all knew that Alan Hamill has a couple of books. <laughs> the Doodle Master. He doodles on everything. And we finally found a use for it because he doodles on his knees. He doodles on the doors. He de doodles on the cabinets. On the bathroom wall, he doodles. He doodles, he just doodles and doodles and doodles. Doodlers can't stop doodling. So I wonder if you can order this book. Look at that doodle on the back. And uh, Leslie took his doodles and um, uh, vectored them. Vector means repeats them and made fabric out of them, and we're going to do a line of doodle shirts, which are just, he has a few that are so cute. Here's another Alan Hamill doodle book. I love your doodles now. You know, they used to bug the crap out of me because you doodled on my walls and my fabric and everything, but now I see it as true art. I mean, this is called Alan Hamill's Brain. Is that good or not good? <laughs> and I'm not on anything. And, you're, and he's not on anything. This is Alan Hamill's brain. But the fact that he only does it when he's uh, preoccupied. Like he can't sit down and doodle. He has to be really heavy in thought or on a phone call or making a business deal or somewhere where his head is completely distracted and then out comes these doodles. Isn't that interesting? And I'm very proud that my uh, books have been uh, reproduced all over the world. I think this, this one is a Korean. And uh, the Koreans are very, very um, progressive relative to health. Most, most Asians are. Uh, this book, this book was the number one book in uh, China for two years. And my doctors here were saying, how come I have all these Chinese patients all of a sudden? They're coming over from China. I said, because they the book sold over there, but guess what? They don't make any of the the ingredients over there that we have here, like bioidentical hormones. And let's hope they don't. And then this one is Chinese here. I'm kind of proud of this. I, my books are, uh, there are 25 million books in print. You can read that, huh? <laughs> 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 they could be making up a bunch of lies in here. I don't know. Who did the fact checking on this? And um, the only thing on each page that's English is my name. So I guess when you translate somebody's name, it's not. So I wasn't showing off. I just want you to know that, um, what, what, can you take these out? Sure. So we're all involved in this like-mindedness of a new way to age, of um, uh, taking health seriously in a world where, um, Health is very difficult to maintain now. Okay, so when do I get my mask? Okay, uh, any moment now. I just want to show you one more. Oh, no, no, I'll wait, I'll wait. Then you have to lie down on the bed here. I know you'll hate doing that. Okay. Okay, all right. So should I put my <coughs> head in your lap? Yeah. Okay, we'll sit down. Okay. I've never put a mask on you this way. But okay. Come here, baby. Okay. Oh. Yep. All right. Okay. Okay. Can How's you... that? Oh. Mm, Here's the most beautiful chest. I love your so chest. So do you. Oh. <laughs> 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 and Bruce is, Bruce is eating salad going, eh. I have my headphones on. He can't hear. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Bruce, right. get used to it. Well, it's only been 50 years. I, I think he's used to it now. Oh, that feels good. Yeah. After I get this on you, mm. I will tell them what's in it. And then um, near the end of the show, you will have to go in and 
in your sink with a washcloth, a warm washcloth, take it all off, okay? okay. Can you do that? Okay, I think so. I, what I really want to do is put this on your nose. Yeah, so what's, what's wrong with my nose? Well, you got, you got... What? You like wh whiteheads. Whiteheads? <laughs> Is that the opposite of blackheads? And you got blackheads too. What? You're equal opportunity. Turn, <laughs> turn your head. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. I don't have blackheads. No, you don't have blackheads. No, you're very. You keep yourself so clean. But whiteheads just uh, appear from. You know, you have the reason you have such beautiful skin is it's it's uh, uh, very oily in a good way. And. Um, this brings the whiteheads to the surface, and then when you wash this off with your washcloth, you're going to go to sleep on me, aren't you? <laughs> hmm. I would know your face in the dark, in a thousand faces or more. I just, I know your face so well. Well, hopefully you, you never have to go through that exercise. I, I know, I know. Here's what's in it. Uh, calcium, peridot. You know those rings that we used to sell on um, yep. home shopping. That that beautiful green kind of the color of the couch. Um, lycopene. Lycopene is what is produced in cooked tomatoes. That they say that's yeah. that's real good for you uh, as uh, anti-cancer. Um, Not that this is anti-cancer for your skin, but it's a it's a good ingredient. Um, and what this is going to do, and you can feel it already, it's already hardening up, it's going to deep clean and purify your skin. So remember, my dyslexia is over with. I think I have dyslexia because I was left-handed, and in Catholic school, for those of you who went to Catholic school, the nuns would not let you write with your right hand. I don't know, they thought you were going to become a child child or something. Oh, yeah, you can't... See, that's how dyslexic I am. <laughs> they wouldn't let you write with your left hand, so they forced me to write with my right hand, and to this day, everything is all backwards on me all the time. When I had to learn to tap dance, um, uh, we did an opening number for Suzanne Summers and uh, 50,000 GIs at Ramstein Air Force Base in um, Germany. Oh my God, was that fun. And uh, I... I wanted to open it up with Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy from Company B, and um, it's and we got the original bu Busley, Busby Berkeley uh, costumes, and we had them kind of altered because they wore their bag kind of, their pants kind of baggy then. Oh my God, my girls were so cute, uh, but for me, learning that tap dance was an intense experience because uh, I couldn't learn it. And I kept thinking, come on, Suzanne, you're smart, until we painted one shoe red and kept the other one black, and so that it no longer became left, left, right, right, left, right, left. It became red, red, black, black, red, black, red. I could remember that like that, um, but I couldn't remember left, left, right, right, left, right, left. Interesting, isn't it? You know, I think uh, if someone just tuned in recently, uh -huh. You should explain that uh, the person laying on your lap is not a dead person. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to ever die, Alan. Okay. <laughs> this is my husband, Alan Hemmel, and he's so good-natured, and when we want to show off a product, Caroline and go, Alan will do it. Alan's like Mikey in the commercial. Alan right. will do it, right. and you will. Yeah. You're good nature. Anything. You're good nature. And, and, and he knows I'll rub his chest. Yeah. Yeah. And Alan, I would like to say, I wrote this to you in a text yesterday. You know, you're just doing a fucking great job. <laughs> you're being the, the tech guy. You're being the behind the camera. You're doing the offers. Mm -hmm. You're you're trying to deal with the sound issue, which is not your fault. None of that is your fault. It is a Facebook issue. And everyone's phone reacts differently, so if you're having sound issues, we apologize. It, try on your computer or use headphones, but it's not Alan. Alan, you're doing a fucking great job. <laughs> That's what I have to say today. Thank you, Caroline. And you didn't cut out or anything. Yeah. It was perfectly clear. Yeah, it came through loud and clear. I love, I love uh, using um, the Internet because there's no standards and practices. 
uh, on television, you never would be allowed to say that. And you know. No, no, you are. You are. Yeah, because one night on one of the music award shows, I think it may have been the American Music Awards. Yeah. Bono was on, and he used that word, and they all got crazy, but he used it as an adjective. Oh. And what came out of it was, you're allowed to use that word on television as an adjective. Rather than the act? Rather than the act. Oh, right. interesting. And probably an adverb as well. Yeah. I don't know if NBC would agree with you, but that's a great line anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, remember, can you read that? Free gift with purchase of the mineral purifying mineral mask suzannesummers.com so the gift is the purified no, mineral no, mask right a, yeah the, the mineral mask yeah. is the free gift yeah did i do that again <laughs> yes did i just tell you did i just tell you that the leading endocrinologist in the world wrote a a, 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 a testimonial to how brilliant i am and i can't get this right i tell you uh, it's an affliction. Uh, dyslexia is a, an affliction. It always does. I can't remember numbers. Thank God I'm married to Alan because he remembers every number. Sometimes that's not so good. Um, he remembers every price I've paid for every piece of clothing I have. I was looking in my closet today. I have beautiful clothes because I'm in the public eye and I have collected them over the years. There's, there's nowhere to wear them right now. Have you noticed that about your clothes? I have the most beautiful a yellow crystal dress. Oh my God, I love it. I'll probably wear it on Facebook one night because it's so beautiful. Because there's no restaurant or party or anything to go to to wear it. Are you having that? So I can't, uh, Caroline's going to be reading questions because Alan's in my lap and falling asleep. Yeah. <laughs> so if any of them tell well, you about that. we have that. a couple of people. Um, Gail didn't think we needed to resort to the F word, but okay. I said, sorry, too late. Okay. <laughs> And Linda Osborne's not sure you should be sitting there with your legs spread open. Me? Yes. You're kidding. You're kidding. I have them all. But most other people enjoyed it. So, sorry for those we offend, but well, we are, I have underpants on. we're not the most PC people. Right? I, have, I have underpants um, on. So, hey, who hasn't seen underpants? It's like, think of underpants as a bikini bottom. It's so hot here. If you were here, you'd have on short shorts too. It's it's. Um, I I went out this morning to like take in the morning air. It was so beautiful, and even at six o'clock this morning, it was hot, hot. He likes it. I love it. Yeah, he loves it. He loves it. We're spending more time here this summer than we normally do. We will be in Malibu near the end of the summer rather than the whole summer, which I'm really well, happy good. about. Yeah, me too. By then I'll get by then I'll get to see you guys. By the summer? Yeah. Do you think this will last that long? No, I think everything's starting to open up. I hope so. You know, you, you can just feel it. I mean, you you try I turn the news off today. I can't watch any more no. of it. But what no. I what I find encouraging is that uh, people are making demands on the people they elected to public office because they're feeling that these people are, uh, are taking away their freedoms. And there are states in this country where uh, they didn't have a lockdown, and yet the, uh, the rate of uh, infection and uh, death was extremely low. It's people simply being we responsible. Just go, we just want to go out. We're yeah, all just being tired responsible, of being right. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I felt badly for that woman in Michigan. Yeah, we, all, we all want to go out and we all want to stay safe. So it's people level, you know, both, it's both. Open up and do it safely, I think. Yeah, absolutely. The, yeah, yeah. The way to go. I've never watched your mouth from this angle. <laughs> so what do you think? Um, I didn't realize you have really nice bottom teeth. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You got, you, you got a whole mouthful of teeth. They're really nice. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you think I like this guy? <laughs> He's, um... So how long do I leave the mask on? Well, it's starting to, it's starting to, it, you could take it off now. It's starting to coagulate if you want to go take it off. 
and then I will, um, if you bring me liquid oxygen and mm, love liquid seven day oxygen. firming cream, let's do that today. And yes. I'll put that on your, whatever your favorite combination okay. is of today. So you could go do that right but now. But also this, yeah, that, that mask, it acts like a, it acts like a sponge to yeah. pull the toxins out of the skin. Wait, wait, so wait, wait. all those minerals that Suzanne loaded in there, it, it acts like to get all those toxins out. So I, I love the idea that you've got peridot in there. I, and then of course peridot is a mineral, but when it's all you know coagulated, it's a beautiful green stone. Nature's so incredible, just so incredible. So go take it off. Okay. Okay. And then come back. And again, guys, remember anything you buy on the website at SuzanneSummers.com today, you will receive a free gift automatically. And the gift is this beautiful purifying mineral mask. It's organic, toxic free, and it's a forty-four ninety-nine value. And Suzanne's just giving this to you as a gift um, while supplies last, because oh. you know, depending on if we oh. if we run out, then we'll have to stop the promo. Oh wait, I I did Al's toes yesterday, and mine. You got to take a look. Oh wow. Well, you need your cameraman back to to look at your toes. You can't see. Can you see now? Uh, hold on, because my I'm on a little bit of a delay. <laughs> Can you see his toes? Oh, so nice. Cornflower blue. Oh, they look great. I know. I know. I did a good job. Thank you. You're so welcome. So come back okay. and bring liquid oxygen. Okay. I mix things up. He forgets things. Where is right. it? <laughs> Where is it? Um, well, is it on your sink? Or if not, it's okay. in my uh, medicine cabinet right in that first uh, on that first shelf. Welcome to our life. This is re this is real life. Anyway, um, so it's a good deal today. I'm going to say I'm going to read it. Free gift with any purchase if you get the mineral mask. Is that right? No. <laughs> you did it wrong again. I did it wrong again. Okay. You buy any product on SuzanneSummers.com and you get the mineral mask as the free gift. Oh, okay. It would have been helpful if my office people had put it all on here. Buy the mineral mask and you can get a free gift with any purchase. No, no, you don't buy the mineral mask. No one has to buy the mineral mask. The mineral mask is a gift. Okay. With any, <laughs> with any purchase, I, st I still, you, tell me again. <laughs> You can, is not an at SuzanneSummers.com. you can buy liquid oxygen and guess what you're going to get with it a free gift of the mineral mask you can buy a senolytic renew and guess what you're going to get for free the mineral mask <laughs> you can buy our bioactive moisturizer guess what you're going to get a free gift with that there you the go the mineral mask there you go Any, anything you buy okay. at SuzanneSummers.com today okay. did you know though this that it's going to get a free Gift. Did you know that that purifying mineral mask is completely gluten free, right? Did you know yes, that it is. did you know that aging skin looks dull and tired, right? But did you know that the purifying mineral mask with calcium peridot and lycopene makes your skin look fresh? When you see Alan's skin when he takes this off, he has enviable skin. Really, it's so beautiful. And the scent is orange sorbet, which is real wild orange. We never use. Um, uh, any any uh, chemical uh, or synthetic fragrances at all. People are so allergic to uh, scents. That's why our one of the things you might look at when you go to the 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 website is those little um, essence oils. Gosh, I love them. I put them on at night before I go to bed. I love the vanilla, uh, but um, sometimes sometimes so good. the wild orange vanilla. It just it works like, I put it across under my nose, it works like a aromatherapy before you go to bed. So um, that's wonderful. The liquid oxygen he's bringing out, oxygen suspended in liquid, but that's not all. It also has uh, lentil extract, apple extract, and watermelon extracts in there. Nature has provided everything, and it's been up to us to discover the power of the ingredients in nature and that is what we've done on our 
Suzanne Summer's organic line. And the same thing with our makeup line. Um, I, just, I can't imagine using anything else. The flawless finish makeup is just, it makes, I don't know. It, I'm, not, I'm not without wrinkles, but when I put the flawless finish makeup on, and I wear the bronze, because I like to be tan, and I don't tan very easily, and I'm married to tan guy. Um, I don't know, I just feel like I look less wrinkled when I put that on. So I really like it. I put what I wear, like what I have on right now is flawless finish, and then I put the uh, light um, concealer uh, cover up, the little pot here, or you can use the stick, and I put it out to here, which is a trick we learn with photographers. Bring it all the way out here, all the way down here, down the nose, and if you want to get really fancy, put it right down here, because that will make your chin look less long as we um, grow older. You know that, that term, long... Long in the tooth. <laughs> well, the, the face drops. Two things happen as we get older is the face drops, uh, it gets puffier, and that's usually because of gluten. If you've got a puffy face, um, why don't you give up gluten for a while and see if that puff goes down. You're going to have to give it up for a month or so. But I found when I gave up gluten that the puffiness of my face uh, really, really diminished greatly. And, um, you know, it's interesting, um, Camelia was, she had a friend here who was asking, um, like, well, what happens if you eat those allergy foods? And she's like, I just get inflamed. And he wasn't quite buying it. He's like, wait, like, like, what do you mean? And she pulled up a picture from, um, when she was in China, which is a hard place to watch your allergies. Right. And, you know, she looked like she put on 15 pounds, yeah, but that. she hadn't. She'd just eaten something that made her allergic. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, you know, it, it, it has made a, you know, a huge difference, obviously, for Camellia to give up gluten. It's not easy. Gluten is delicious, you know. But there's so many great gluten-free pastas. I, I mean, we mainly eat gluten-free pasta here. It, it, unless it's really worth it. If it's really worth it, I'll do it. Because I find, it, you know, once in a while it doesn't make a difference. And the same thing with Al, who's severely gluten intolerant. But he'll have it when he gives it up for quite a while. Okay. Oh, these are your favorite things. Okay, ageless serum, uh, liquid oxygen I love. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and this is uh, Radiance Oil Moisturizer. Oh, I love that. Okay, good okay. choices. Okay. okay, here, come back to your happy spot. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, here's the liquid oxygen. Okay. Isn't Al fun? <laughs> now, he's a prop, now he's the prop guy, too. Prop <laughs> guy. <laughs> I, I'll tell you, that day I walked into that television studio <laughs> 50 years ago. There used to be, in. I used to read comic books, books as a little girl, and there was always that light bulb or boing kind of thing. I walked in, I saw Al and my heart started racing and uh, you're lucky it's never stopped I, I wasn't allowed to read comic books you weren't why uh, i don't know who wouldn't let you read comic books uh my mother what did she think was in them i don't know remember betty and veronica i don't know uh, I... in the archie series I... tell me uh, caroline if anybody there says yes they remember the archie series with betty and veronica I want to be I want to be Veronica so bad. Maybe I turned out to be Veronica. I'm being liberal with the liquid oxygen here because we've Good. got we've got the time and he loves it. Yeah. This is what he calls that stuff. Suzanne, where's that stuff? It, I'll tell you when you use liquid oxygen, it's like your skin is taking a drink. I can feel it. You know, and it's so dry here in the Great. desert that we really need to use this every day, and you can just see how his skin has it's all so first of all tight from the mask, and now it's all glowy from the liquid oxygen. And Suzanne, if someone orders the liquid oxygen, what do they get today as a free gift? <laughs> a purified mineral mask? Okay! You got it! <laughs> okay! Do you know why yes, you have a lot of RG fans. <laughs> oh, okay, great. I know, then, yeah, that was our era, wasn't it? It was wonderful, because we didn't have television. like. Yeah, well, there was the Ed Sullivan show, and then the Dinosaur sh show came. Okay, so we got the liquid oxygen on. While you were gone, I mixed up the purifying mineral mask uh, giveaway again. 
And really? Caroline laughed, laughed at me with her mocking laugh, and I deserved it. Okay, I have a question. Yeah. This is the Ageless Serum. Let me tell you about the Ageless okay. Serum. This is um, uh, sea algae from purified waters and African birch, which was used in Africa for centuries as a medicine. How about that? What an incredible thing. Okay, now, what? Okay, getting back to the beginning of TV. Uh-huh. What was the first color TV show? Dinah Shore. No. Um, I'll give you a hint. Okay. It was produced on film in England. Well, how do I know what was on? I was in California. Well, no, no, no. It played in the United States. Well, I didn't get a tell. We, we only had one. I don't want to hear any excuses. Do you know the answer or not? I don't. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I'll give you. Okay, here's another hint. What? Whenever the the main character would make an appearance on the screen, yeah, you'd hear this little musical thing that sounded like this. Da 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 da. -da, -da. The Lone Ranger? No, but you're close. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? Robin Hood. Oh, you know I never liked Robin Hood. <laughs> I didn't watch it, but I liked the Lone Ranger. That came along later though, because. Oh, really, the first the first show I remember watching was the Ed Sullivan Show. By the way, I wish I could remember the name of the DJ who was famous for telling a, a Lone Ranger joke that was a long joke with the most incredible payoff. I wish I could remember his name. He died a few years ago, but I'm sure it's online. I'm sure if you, if you Googled uh, incredible Lone Ranger joke, it would come up. He told it beautifully. The timing was beautiful. The words he used were perfect. And the laugh at the end was hysterical. You know, good storytellers are yeah. amazing. And that was what I, this, this now I'm putting on the Radiance Oil Moisturizer. Man, is this great stuff. And especially here where it's dry. If you're dry these days, this is a, you really chose a great combination. Well, thank you. Radiance thank Oil. You. Wow. Wait till you see what this does to good skin. You know, uh, Buddy Hackett was one of the great, great storytellers. One of the great storytellers. And that's when the Carson show was on. Right. Um, he had all the great storytellers. That's who he liked the best. Yeah. You know who loved great storytellers? And he, and I used to see this on The Tonight Show was when Frank Sinatra would be a guest, and then the second guest would be a Buddy Hackett or, or one of the really Roddy Dangerfield or one of the funny guys. Frank loved a great story and a great joke. Yeah. He was great. What was the, the, of all the Tonight Shows that you did, what was the show where everyone was stoned except you? Oh, oh, David Carradine oh, right. was the guest. Right. I gotta say, Johnny was kind of not Johnny that night. Well, they had a bar backstage. They had a bar backstage. I think they had more than a bar backstage. Yeah. I mean, I've never, I, you know, I, I, I don't, for me, when I'm on camera, I'm, I want to be lucid and clear. Uh, but at the Tonight Show during that era, it was all about getting a little high. Maybe I should have. <laughs> I would have just laughed and laughed and right. laughed. Yeah. Who cares? I was on so many times, and he was so good to me. Yeah. I came along. I, I, now that I look at what TV has become, which is there's so much content, none of us are watching the same things. The only thing that is anything that connects us all right now is Netflix, I think. Because um, it used to be, when I was on television all those years, ABC, NBC, and CBS, but now, do you watch any of those? Not really, are those shows any good? When I flip onto them, they're like, hmm. They don't have the funny writers like they used to have, and all the good writers have gone to Netflix. And I wrote my friend Ryan Murphy. I've known Ryan Murphy for several years. Ryan Murphy produced Glee. Genius. Genius, and I wrote him the other day, and I said, I just finished binging on Hollywood, which is his series, and it's based on a book that I had read a couple of years before called I think it was Scotty's, I think it was called Scotty's, something like, something that. like that. It was about a call boy uh, gas station in the 40s when, if you were gay or lesbian, uh, you you could lose your whole career if you were seen, you know, out in public. So this was a, I guess a a behind the gas station brothel for the bigwigs. Well, he also would arrange parties. And he would arrange parties. And in the book, if you look up Hollywood and look up the book that it's based on, 
to get all the real names. He, of course, didn't use many real names in the series. But anyway, I wrote him and I told him, I haven't seen costuming like this since uh, Francis Ford Coppola did uh, that big, incredible uh, movie. Godfather. Godfather. I haven't heard musical orchestrations like this. And Ryan Mu uh, Murphy, you know, because of Glee, and he, he's so musical. And the orchestrations were riveting. And the writing was so poignant that I would find myself, when we turned off, lying in bed, thinking about the different lines and how poignant, and its acceptance of all our differences. And um, uh, he wrote, it was about the inequality for women in that era, inequality for gays, people of color, etc. cetera. Uh, it's a really a worthwhile watch. And so I wrote Ryan this letter, and he wrote me back yesterday, he said, Wow, this made my day, week, year. He said, I worked so hard on it. And I said, I know you did. You know, the casting also. Every, the casting was perfect. Every character. There Patty Lapone. Yeah. I haven't yeah. seen her since, what, Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. What was that? Evita. And then um, uh, Holland Taylor, who was on A Few Good Men, but she also was something on one of my series, probably step by step of. I've had so many mothers and mother-in-laws and aunts <laughs> in series, and I kept looking at Holland Taylor going, how do I know her? And then I realized, I think you were a mother or a mother-in-law in one of my series, probably on Step by Step. I have to go look it up. Yeah, it would be good to put more liquid oxygen on. Well, on top of all this? Yeah. All right, it's not how it's done. Well, I know, but I like it that way. Oh, okay. All right. He just wants me to keep rubbing his face. <laughs> Any, anything. I it, his skin is glowing. Your skin looks amazing, Isn't Helen. It beautiful? Wow. Yeah. And you know, all these products I'm putting on him are good for him. There's no chemical accumulation. Think of all the crap we take in through cosmetics that have chemicals in them. Think of it. And, and um, it's called, and I write about it in my new book, A New Way to Age, Your Toxic Burden. And the higher your toxic burden, the more in peril your health is. And so in the back of that book, there are um, all the tests that you can take. Every test that I mentioned is in the back of the book. And Life Extension has so kindly offered to my readership uh, a great deal. And it's interpreted, if you don't have your own doctor, the tests are interpreted by their scientific advisory board. You get one of the many um, 26 scientists, doctors, and professionals. It's a pretty great deal. And bless you. <coughs> bless you. Thank you. I probably pulled your nose. <coughs> Did I pull your nose hairs? Sorry. I don't, I don't sorry. have nose hair. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> but do you like do you, do you cut your nose hairs? No. Hmm. That's another. I remember one night on The Tonight Show, Buddy Hackett had just finished doing a movie. And he was talking about the fact that he had a scene where he had to cry. And he couldn't, he, he, he couldn't figure out how to cry. So he started yanking on the hair in his nose. <laughs> that would do it. Do you know when you watch a crying scene in film or on TV that when the tears come down the center of the eye, those are fake tears. Real tears c come from the corners. Just saying. But um, makeup men, when you're supposed to do a crying scene, they're very effective in putting the uh, fake tears so that they come down the center, but nobody really knows that. No. I'm giving away all the trade secrets. Well, I can't, I can't, I don't know if I can make you look any better. You look so beautiful. I could have a nap right now. I think you are having a nap right yeah, now. Yeah, I could have a nap right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at, no, you, you know you're right, Caroline. His skin does, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It looks great. Beautiful skin. Thank this you. is 83 year old skin. It's just not right, not right. But he is, uh, it, you know, a perfect example of the new way to age. New way to age is um, the the uh, aging is about worn out parts, and the new way to age is through blood testing and lab testing. Those tests I'm talking about at the back of the book, seeing where your levels are, how they've diminished, and literally putting back in the exact amounts that your body requires, which is different from my requirement or his requirement or Caroline's requirement. It's a simple concept, but um, 
I, I, and I think you can get a new way to age on the website, right, Caroline? Uh, yes, you can. We and we have a we have the link on the website. Okay, so to where you can go. Um, you know, for me at this point, after all these books I've written, it's it's really has very little to do with selling books, but for for wanting me to get the information. I worked so hard on these books. When Ryan Murphy said to me yesterday, I worked so hard on that series, I thought, I know, I worked so hard on these books. Writing is lonely. You sit in your office by yourself. You can't really have too many interruptions because it interrupts the flow. And writing is a flow. And I worked so hard in these books to bring information to you and to me. I, I, I am so informed at this stage of my life and um, I'm so grateful for having had this opportunity. And it really happened by accident. I didn't plan to be a writer. I didn't plan to be an actress. I didn't plan to be anything. I planned to be your wife. From the moment I met you, I thought I'm gonna be his wife. That's the only plan that I made that when you when I want something. I when can, you're a success. Yeah, <laughs> I can make it happen. But I yeah. started writing books because um, I went on the road. And I didn't want to sit and watch soap operas, all, soap operas all day like my other friends who are on the road. I didn't want to order room service like my other friends on the road, which all probably saved my life because there's no healthy food in room service. How many hotels have you stayed at that serve organic food? Not many. You know, they uh, most of them have organic chicken. Yeah, yeah, you can get organic That's chicken. That's it. Yeah, and after a while, chicken, 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 chicken. Hey, you guys have a new product in development that I can't wait to send to you. Mm -hmm. What? Wow, it's great. It's an immune booster, and it has so many good ingredients in it. Um, so is it a cream? Is it a, is it a supplement? We haven't talked about this it's, one. It's a, um, it's a powder that you put in water, oh. or you could add it to a smoothie. Uh -huh. um, but it's, it's loaded, loaded, and it tastes really good. Well, what do we um, need more now than anything that supports your immune system? Right now, more exactly. than ever. More than ever. Um, any questions they're asking that need answering? Um, uh, a lot of compliments about your book. De uh, Darlene said, this book has changed my life. Oh, great. I'm so So glad. much great information. Mm. She's very grateful. Um, you have somebody who'd like to buy your couch. Sean wants to know if you want to sell your couch. I might. Okay. Sean, DM me, yeah. and we'll talk. Yeah. Um, okay, that's fine. I have <laughs> Sharon Reese said thank you for the free gift. She's okay. super excited about the free mineral mask that you get with any purchase today. Just because it's a free gift. Yeah. So i got to tell you about the couch. What? Oh, you know. Well, we we, you know about we the saw couch. we wanted it and no. we had it sent with my shipping number. No, no, that's not it at all. What is it? This couch came From out the of the chateau. I told him that. And it, Stephen found it. Stephen and Olivia found it, and they oh, had it. Oh, because her father. That's right, because her father sells chateaus. They had it. Doesn't everyone? And then uh, I think when they were about to move here, uh, we sent it here, and it's been sitting in our house ever since. Well, we bought it. Yeah, we bought it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, D DM so, Caroline, and uh, maybe we'll make a deal because we are moving in November, and there might be furniture I don't move over to the new house. But people have been asking me why we're moving. Um, we're in a new chapter. It's exciting. I don't need this many bedrooms anymore, and all this land, although I love it, it's a lot to take care of, and... Um, we, we, we found this house, you're all gonna love. It's one level, this one is five levels. And we've got a lot, a lot, a lot of stairs. And there are no stairs in the new house, but 18 foot ceilings, and I'd say a billion dollar view. It's just incredible. And uh, it's built around a swimming pool. And I'm putting in the kitchen of my dreams. And uh, it's really fun, I haven't done this in decades to uh, decorate and remodel a brand new place to live. So we're both kind of excited about it, huh? We figure maybe by November we'll be over there. There will be a Big Al's bar. Don't fret. Everybody's worried there'll be no Big Al's bar. That's like one of the big things that we said to the contractor, you know, 
This bar here is uh, indoor outdoor, so it's different in that um, we can close off the windows so that it's indoor. But when we open the windows, it's completely freestanding as though the bar and the living room is outside uh, with no barrier between outside and inside. It's kind of, kind of exciting. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, a lot of nature. A lot of nature. There we, did see, we did see a bobcat oh, the yeah. other day. Yeah, yeah, but I saw a bobcat here the other day too. So this must be bobcat season. Maybe this is when they come down from the mountain because I I don't remember ever seeing bobcats up here. Yeah. Do you? No. And I've never seen, in all the years that we've lived here, I've never seen a, a, so many bighorn sheep. Last year and this year, yeah. pretty much every day, we've got a herd of sheep out on the hill there. And you know what I mean when I say it's holy, when you see nature uh, out in its natural environment? And they're used to us now, these bighorn sheep, and they're wild. They're, they're a, a herd that runs all across the mountains here. And they have little babies. And yeah, yesterday, there were all these little, not all, there were, well actually it was one, wasn't it? Or two, two little babies, really little. Little like, mom, wait, mom, wait. And um, when I see them, to not startle them, because as soon as I walk out the bedroom door here, they all go like that, nice. you know? And so when I see them do that, I put my head down subservient, like that, for enough time for them all to see me. And then I look up and then they go, Oh, okay, she's not a predator. I think that's just the language of the wild. And it works every single time, because I don't want them to run away. And if you if you open the back door here real fast and slam it shut, they all start running off. And I go, no, come back. So, oh, we've had such a wonderful time here. And I'm glad we're spending a lot of time here this summer and we'll have all our Facebook lives here, because this has been, this house, this compound, has been so great for our family. There's room here for all the children and grandchildren to come and stay. And um, in the kitchen, we're all a little cramped, that table you've seen in my kitchen. We sometimes have 13 chairs around it's that actually, table. I like being cramped in the yeah, kitchen. Yeah, yeah. It's great. And, and do 13 chairs fit? Nope, but we do -si do around one another. Nobody's ever upset. And, and it's, um, it, it's, it's been wonderful. I'll tell you, whoever buys this house, First of all, there have only been three occupants of this house in a hundred years. Yeah, That'll yeah. tell you something about yeah, this no house. Yeah, no one wants to leave. Right. <laughs> the last people were here for 40 years. We've been here 43 years. And uh, whoever the first this house, here 20 years, yeah. you know, whether it's a, uh, uh, I hope it's a young family. Yeah. Uh, it could be a great corporate retreat, mm -hmm. a great corporate retreat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I thought, um, you know, the reason we bought this place was at the height of Three's Company, we lost all our privacy. We lived on Venice Beach, and it was great. We got married in that house, and it was great. Uh, but in the morning, there'd be paparazzi out in front of the house when I'd leave to go to work. When I'd come home at night, they'd be uh, on the beach side uh, photographing through the window into our kitchen. That's not fun. That's so intrusive, and it feels dangerous, and then... We have to close the drapes just as the sun's going down. And why do you live at the beach so you can see the sunset? And then I didn't like how it inhibited our kids. And so we bought this place so that we could come here every weekend and they could, you know, climb rocks and eat dirt and do what kids do and not have any cognizance of being a celebrity children's, uh, children of celebrities. And it really worked. And then they, when our kids all got married and had kids, then they all started bringing, you know, their babies and then kids. And, and now our grandkids are, no, no, you can't sell our house. But they'll like the new house. They'll, they'll like it. They just, they're, we're all possessive about um, things from our past. It's hard to let go of the past, but it's so exciting to move on to the future, to a new chapter. And um, this house has such history. The first the first guy that lived here was a man by the name of Wright Lettington, and he eventually became the curator of the Santa Barbara Museum of Art, and he was going back and forth to Europe at that time in the 20s when you could bring artifacts back, and there's still a couple of statues here that he brought back from gardens. You know, there's the statue of St. Joseph that I have in our garden, and 
But I think of all three owners, I think we've made the most improvements on this house, and I think we brought this house to its glory. It's just beautiful. And what it is beautiful. And um, you guys are actually, you're at an hour, if you can believe it. Wow. 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 Yeah. So no, I know no, it's going to be hard for Alan has to get up to turn but off first the show. show them your face. Show. Come here. What? My face? Show them your face. Now sit up and show them your face. Hey, yeah. Suzanne, let's see. Can you tell them the deal? Yeah, what's the deal? If you... Uh, you get, <laughs> you get a free gift yeah. with any purchase. Yeah. If you buy... <laughs> Come on, Chrissy. You got it. Hit it. <laughs> You're almost there. If you buy the purified mineral bath. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> if you buy the purified mineral mask, it doesn't make sense to me. I can't be the only dyslexic person. Say it to tell me, Caroline. The free gift is the mineral. Yeah, the, that's what I said. The free gift is the mineral mask. So you can buy anything at SuzanneSummers.com, and you're going to get a free a gift. Free gift, okay. forty-four ninety-nine. I don't know. I think it's because this is what I read, and I see free gift with any purchase. Is that confusing to any of you out there? Please tell me it is. Please, I'm not stupid. That you know. Free Thanks gift for with any purchase. Show. We're back on Friday. Yeah. At the bar at 5 p.m. Yeah, Pacific. you know, next time, when I drink, my my brain works much better. I'll see you Friday night at 5 o'clock. <laughs> I love you guys. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Bye.